Hi, welcome all. This is a short video tutorial on Wondershare Video Editor. This program is free to try, but uh, however, there will be a watermark on your exported uh, video footage. I have this program downloaded and installed on my PC. You can download it from their website. Here's their website. You can use the free trial version here, or you can buy it now. It's available for both Mac and Windows. I just start up the Wondershare video editor. You now have four options you can select from. Widescreen 16 by 9, standard 4 by 3. You can open, look for a recent project or a project you have saved on your hard drive, or you can select from recent projects here. I'm going to select 16 by 9 uh, because this is the uh, footage I have saved on my hard drive. You have to select the correct screen size for your footage. If you don't, you will be left with black bars on the edge, edges of your finished exported footage. Here's the user interface. The first part we are going to look at is how to import files. To import files, you can click on this button up here, the import button. Click on it, and then you can navigate to wherever you want to get your uh, file footage from. I got three files in here. I'm going to just click on this one first and get this into it. As you can see, the media file has now appeared here in this um, the, the bin uh, section of the uh, program. One annoying thing I found with Wondershare is if you had a project earlier and you used a file with a name and you opened another one later with a, a name that is the same, your old file will be used, you would not see the one you want to use. So I, I would make sure you have unique names for all your files with Wondershare. Now that we have the file import, we'll have a look at the timeline area of the pro program. The timeline area is this area that runs across the bottom of the uh, window. Here, this area here. Above the timeline, you can see time. These numbers here, 2 minutes, 2, ter two minutes 30. And depending on how you're zoomed in, um, but, but you could show it seconds. You have a slider bar here that will zoom in. If I slide it over here, you can see it starts getting. We are now showing seconds. Uh, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Let's just bring it back out. On the timeline in this area, on the left hand side, we have three channels, video, picture and picture one, and music. Video is your main editing uh, timeline. Now let's add some video to the timeline. Click on your media here that you've imported earlier. Left click and you just drag it down to the timeline and it will appear here. You will also see that the footage appears here in your preview window. This is your preview window up here in the top right hand corner. 
If you press this play button, it will play back. Press it again. Now press the stop button here and it stops. You now have uh, successfully created your first project. Now would be a good time to save your project. There are a few ways you can save your project. One, you can press on this little icon here on the top left hand corner. Now if I press on that, you can navigate to, to you can navigate to the uh, folder you want to save your project in. I just cancel that. The other is by pressing this large button here. And you can go save as or save. Save as. And this will bring you up with your navigation uh, window as well. The other way you can do it is just by holding the control key on your keyboard and pressing S button at the same time. And you will get the same navigation window. So let's just save it. Um, click on this button. Even if I go on save here, for the first time, it's going to prompt me for a um, location folder. I'm just going to click it there. Uh, we call it uh, Garden. That project is now saved. If you now edit your uh, project your video and you want to save it as you go along you can press Control S and it will save it and you won't have to keep on going back and navigate and everything you want to save it or you can press the uh, just click on save as soon as you do any uh, changes of the uh, project you will be allowed to save it here this will allow you to do it. We now have our project saved. Now let's close Wondershare down. We can now start it back up. Sixteen by nine and Find your project, click on this, open, and then navigate to where you have saved your project folder. Now that continues on from where you left off. On my next video, I will be going through some cutting and trimming on the timeline and adding some transitions to the timeline. Till the next video, uh, thanks for watching.